Okay, so we're going to look at the ESP Jans ESP desk here, and we're looking at how to record a scene on this desk. Now, this is the exact desk a lot of other venues have. It has 24 faders across the top. It has two banks of them, which means we put it in wide mode. It's a 48 channel desk. We also notice down the bottom here we have some sliders for scene masters. We also have some buttons to control some things. Also, we have the faders for effects and chase. And across here, at the bottom right, is the preset masters, a flash master, and an overall master. All right, now if we we're going to program this desk, and we're going to look at a scene today to program a scene. Generally what you'll have to have up is firstly your Grandmaster is up and then a Preset Master. You'll then go across the individual channels you require and you would put the intensities you want of those lights on a certain scene and then to record them as a scene is a very simple process of going to the record button, pushing the record button down and then at the same time coming across to a scene master and clicking it and it would hold. Now this desk at the moment is not powered up but if we were to power it up, the lights would all light up and that scene would record as scene number one. Now if we want to do another scene, again we go back to the presets we have, we change the presets to the other state we'd like to have, and again if this was running as a wide desk in 48 channel mode, we could have all sorts of lights set at whatever we wanted to have. So there's a wide shot there, and again if we were to record this as a scene, again we push the record button, hold it, but I've only got two hands here today, and then you would go across the scene master you'd want. Now if this was turned on, number one would be lit already because we just programmed scene one. But number two to number 12 would be flashing. We'd go number two, click it, and it would go static. And then if we wanted to take the, all the sliders down, we then would have two scenes programmed in. Again, we don't need that yellow fader up because it's preset. The master would be up. And we'd just go to scene number one, we'll go this, and the mimic lights would come up and the lights would work. And if we go to scene number two, we change it across, that scene would be saved. So that's practically how you do it. The manual explains it, but looking at the buttons on the desk is a bit simpler. The other thing you can also do is record a cue or an effect. Now in your show, you might have, a, rather than having them as scenes, you might have these uh, things all happening one after the other. And rather than pushing next scene, next scene, next scene, next scene, which is one way to do it, and then you can always go back to a first scene if you need it easier. That's how some shows are recorded. If you want to pre-record every show and every scene, you can record the scene. And then you come across this effects button here. Again, the same features as before. You hit record. And then you go to the FX button and push and click that. It would light up. In the display, it would tell you what is going on with that scene. Or rather, that effect. And you'd record this numerous ones and eventually you'd have on the display tell you you have effects number one, two, three, four, five, or well, the crossfades rather, one, two, three, four, five, and then you just play them back. During the show, you'd change this to playback mode. Next, 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 next. Real easy. So that's how you'd use the Jan's ESP to record some scenes and record a playback for FX.